May I take this opportunity to greet all of us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our Savior. I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to share with us the Word of God. I'm going to share with us from the book of Exodus, chapter 14. Started to read at verse 10. The word of God says, As Pharaoh approached the Israelites, looked up, and there were the Egyptians, marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone, let us serve Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Moses answered the people, do not be afraid, start firm, and you will see the deliverance of the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. This is the word of God. The text that our friend has a title, Crossing the Sea. This is a very familiar text to us on how the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea. Well, they were in Egypt, they were so much wanting to leave the place. Remember, they were promised to go to Canaan. But as they were going on the way, they realized there were challenges. They realized the Egyptians were following them, who they were their enemies. As the Bible says, they were marching after them. And having seen that they were very close to them, they were asking Moses, why did you allow us to leave Egypt? We told you that you'd want to be there, we want to stay there. Look at what is happening. And then Moses answered to them, Do not be afraid. Start firm and you see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. Friends, I want to remind us, there are all reasons for us to be afraid. Especially when you look at the, the scenario we are in, coronavirus, that is so much affecting uh, this nation and other nations. So friends, there is a point for us to be afraid. There is a point for us to worry. But I want to remind us that as Moses told the people of Israel, do not be afraid, stand firm, and I was, you will see what God is going to do to you today. And he pointed, saying, the Egyptian you see today who will never see again. I want to say this. Yesterday, we are in the midst of coronavirus. But I want to remind us and to encourage us, time is coming and time is now. But we shall be saying there was once issue of coronavirus in our nation. The Lord promised that he will fight for us as he did to the people of Israel in verse 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Friends, let's be still and wait upon this God. He's going to fight for us. But as God fight for us, I want to remind us of a very basic things that we need to do. I want to tell us that uh, let us not be ignorant. 
on doing very simple things. We have been directed and instructed by WHO, Minister of Health. There is a way that you can prevent spreading of coronavirus. As much as we are waiting upon God, as much as we are waiting God to deliver us, let us do the basic things that we have been asked to do. Wash our hands. Let us use sanitizers. Let us keep distance. Let us stay at home. Let us do what we have been asked to do. And then once we pray our part, I want to assure us that this will come to an end. Friends adhere to the rules and the directives and now beware because you are serving God. God who cares. The Lord who is with us. The Lord who continues to be with us. The children of Israel are very much afraid and scared. But the servant of God told them, start firm and you see the deliverance of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we are serving God who is giving us a surety that all will be well. Let us not be scared. Let us not be scared. Start still and see the deliverance of the Lord. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, we want to thank you. You are the same God who are with the people of Israel. The time they were terrified, the time they were seeing things has come to an end. But Lord, you spoke to them through your servant Moses, telling them the way to see of your deliverance. This is what you are reminding us this day. That Lord, you are delivering this nation. You are delivering this world from the viruses that are affecting us. Lord, we trust in you and we are waiting upon you. Be with us, O oh God. Help us, O oh Lord. And even further, as we are here to what you have been told to do, may we do it and do it uh, in the right way. And we shall see it wait that uh, this has come to an end. We commit our families, dear Father, to you. We commit our, 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 our readers of this nation, Lord, to you. We commit our, 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 our parishioners, dear Father, to you. We commit each and every person to you that your presence may continue to walk with us. May you guide us, direct us. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.